nation who will make a presentation. Welcome to Brewer to be here tonight, folks, for a special Prep Nation Award presentation presented by Wesson Farms. We're here to recognize the middle infield and shortstop player and Oklahoma Sooner cadet for the class of 2024. The only Pat O'Brien in school history for a scholarship to Oklahoma University, a 3.57 GPA. Fall 2023 stats, 444 batting average, 576 on base percentage, 741 slugging percentage, 21 walks, and 11 hit by pitch. 36 hits on the season, 22 singles, 7 doubles, 4 triples, 3 home runs, and 30 RBIs. We're here with Katie McKay of Caddo. First off, Katie, you guys have set the gold bar for the state of Oklahoma. You've caught the likes of Dale and other teams in baseball like Asher, Silo, Roth, Fort Cobb, Broxton. What has it been like to win one state championship, then two, three, four, five in a row, and then still have a shot to win a sixth? Has there been a, a difference playing 2A and 3A in slow pitch versus A? I know you see some different teams. You play some similars, but you definitely get a different variety. Yeah, Is it harder to win in slow pitch or easier? I mean, to us, I feel like it's not harder. But yes, there's some good competition in all those classes. Like, I feel like whoever's on the other side... You're having a unique opportunity to not only leave school on a historic streak. Every school title in softball you've been a part of. Slow pitch, fast pitch, doesn't matter. Every one you've ever won. It's got to make you proud. It's also got to make you think, wow, pinch me and see if this is a fairy kind of fairy tale, right? Yeah, it's crazy. It's a dream. It's one thing to win one, win five. It's unreal. It's crazy. All right, I'd be remiss if I don't point this out. You're getting the opportunity to play for not only the number one ranked softball team in America, but many people believe, if not just about everybody now, the greatest softball program in the history of women's sports. Dominating, winning. What is it like to know that you're going to step on the turf and in six months, give or take, you're going to be a part of the big, big leagues with Oklahoma softball? 
You're in a similar situation with Cheney Helton from Coweta, uh, Melissa Parker from Popola. Um, I know there's been a couple of others as well. How does it how does it frame for you, and what does it mean to you to be the first ever for Caddo to get that opportunity? Final question for you. Patty Gasso said, and I quote, you have the earmarkings and the surefire look of a future All-American. She's not putting any pressure on you at all, is she? <laughs> I mean, I'm just ready to go up there and show what I can do and it's going to work. Well, congratulations. You're our first ever back-to-back -back softball player of the year. It's well-deserved. Congratulations.